Soon work had begun again. The tiles had been missing and bricks had been damaged due to the flight of the engines. So extra cars had to be made with several different loads. So new building materials had to be loaded in different heat. So new supplies were made to go in each car that was revolved. So a new set of car was made for the new supplies to be taken to the building set. So a new set of cars were made for each car to be loaded with building supplies to be taken to the building site. The engines didn't say anything but worked as hard as they could. That evening, Thomas, James, and Emily were at the sheds. Tim of sheds had been taken down. That evening, Thomas, James, and Emily were at the sheds near the station. Tim of <clears throat> Later, Thomas and James were at the sheds Emily stayed at. Tim of sheds had been taken down due to the damage that James had caused with diesel. And so Emily had kindly allowed James and Thomas to take their berths. It sure is very comfortable than the one in, in mine. It sure is pretty comfy here, said Thomas warmly. <laughs> sure is, agreed Emily. It's glad to have some company here from the other big engines that I usually spend my night with. Thanks for letting us stay here tonight, said Thomas kindly. <laughs> it's all right, said Emily sweetly. It's nice to have other company besides Murdoch and Spencer and even Arthur, of course. James, however, didn't talk. He was still upset about what he had done. Are you all right, James? asked Emily. Can you tell? he muttered. I can tell you're not, Emily said back. Oh, no, I'm not, sighed James. What have I even done? Why do I even hate diesels to begin with? Why did I let that get in the way of my job? And it's got us in disaster. Sir Topham had a sure to hate us now. Thomas and Emily looked on in disbelief. If work not done in time, he might replace the whole railway. Do you know something? asked Thomas. When I was away on the other railway, I met an engine that worked not too far from the mountains. Her name was Lady, and she was very special. I was very cheeky and often got into a lot of accidents. How will we ever finish this job on time? Thomas moaned. Lady always gave us a friendly smile and said, we, all, we always finish our jobs when we work together, she puffed. Even those who refuse to comply, we simply put our differences aside and get the job done no matter what. That's simply what could happen here, Thomas said after finishing the story. James perked up hearing this. Of course, he said, we all need to work together in order to finish the airport on time. Thomas, you're a genius. But before Thomas could say anything else, James puffed cheerfully away. What's the rush? asked Emily. Oh, you'll find out soon, chuckled Thomas. Soon, James arrived at the siding. Soon, James arrived at the yards. The Diesels were there. Boko and Mavis were trying to soothe Diesel's feelings, but Diesel was having none of it. Those filthy steam engines started it, he snapped. Those kettles didn't know what was coming to them. Splatter and Dodge just stayed silent. Now, Diesel, snapped Mavis, we all know the steam engines didn't mean it literally, not even James. They just have a hard time 
trying to loose the ropes and get to know each other better. But it would work if you would give him a chance. Diesel snip. Give him a chance. Most unlikely. At last, Boko cut in. Steam engines and diesels are different, he said. But that doesn't mean we can't all be friends. No matter how different we are, we are all really useful. You would be too if you learned to change your ways, Diesel. Um, boss, cried Dodge, he's back. And uh, his paint looks redder than his face, joked Splatter. Diesel Boko made us look to see James standing firm in front of us. Oh, just when things couldn't get any worse, groaned Diesel. Come to with me again. James soothed his feelings. Not this time, Diesel. I came to ask you something. James took a deep breath. Would you be willing to help me and the others with the airport? By all means, we can all work together to make Sir Topham Hatt's plan a reality. Diesel howled with laughter. Work together? With you outdated steamers, <laughs> not likely a chance. We diesels are far too more reliable to work with you. Have you seen me working with Toby? Mavis chimed in. Diesel was taken aback. And me with Henry and Gordon, added Boko. Splatter and Dodge were very interested. We can work with steamers too? I had no idea, Dodge whispered to Splatter. Maybe Diesel wasn't telling the truth, Splatter thought to himself. I know you're all pretty upset with me and I'm truly, truly am sorry for starting this whole nonsense in the first place. But I believe we have a chance to fix all my mistake if we all cooperate and work as a team, both Steam and Diesel United. Mavis looked at Diesel and winked. Don't you want to prove to Sir Tom Hatt that you're more than just devious Diesel? Diesel sighed. All right, I'll help you, but only because Sir Topham Hatt wants me to. Just then, Emily and Henry puffed in. Evening, James, Henry puffed. Evening, Boko, Mavis, and you three, of course, he said, glaring at the three diesels. Everything all right? asked Emily. James then explained his conversation with the diesels. We're all going to work together to make Sir Topham Hatt proud. Emily smiled. Well, I can't say how proud I am of you, James, she smiled. The James I knew would never ask help from Diesels, smirked Henry. Boko and Mavis and even Splatter and Dodge left, but Diesel stayed silent. Soon, every engine took James's words into account. All the steam engines and diesel engines started working together. Boko and Henry managed Gordon's express well. Arthur and Salty carried the fish to market. And Percy and Mavis carried paint to the airport. The paint was used, used to decorate the walls of the airport being built. 